Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Lipis Reptiles, and we're going to continue with our theme of a clutch update. So if you like seeing babies, you know, like, subscribe, help me out, do me a favor. Also, if you feel so inclined, go check out our Patreon. You know, I gotta give the standard warning, because apparently that helps if I tell you early. Let's get right to it today with showing you some babies. I guess I should tell you the pairing first. So today's clutch will be from a pastel leopard to a leopard, or wait a minute, blah, blah, scratch that, a pastel leopard. Uh, to a spot nose pastel. So pastel leopard to a spot nose pastel. Let's just jump right into start showing you some babies, right? No, no sense in messing around. Now these came a good bit after the other ones because we had a little bit of a break and from clutch one to clutch two. And the first thing we're going to start with is just a really simple spot nose. So nothing else going on in here, just a spot nose. Uh, really nice looking. And there you can see it is at 72 grams. So it's doing really well, growing really nice. These are all born in about the 60s if memory serves. So we're putting on some weight. We're doing it's what we'd expect. Not ready for sale just yet, but when they are ready, they will go to our Patreon to be available first. But really, really nice animal right there. Single gene spot nose. You know, this is an animal that honestly, it, I kind of uh, got into begrudgingly, you know, I, I, I bought some things from somebody that needed to sell some stuff and due to an accident and things like that. And I wasn't like, oh, you know, hey, you know, I just have to have uh, spot nose. I, I, but the more I've had it and the more I've played with it, the more I really do like it. So next up, is just a pastel. So this is a single gene pastel, nothing too spectacular here. Uh, we'll set it there. I mean, and it's 71 grams and it could just actually, I'll show you the head. There you can see the blushing. It's nothing too crazy. Uh, you can see the coloration coming in through there, like pretty basic and honest to God. I mean, you know, you, you have to be honest with yourself sometimes, right? Not every animal that you make is going to be an excellent, like, bam, that's the highest quality of the morph. You know, this is not, this is, this is not a, uh, this is what I would call a pet quality animal. And guys, you're going to hatch some of those. It's okay. What you need to do when you do is just be open about that, be honest with yourself, and sell it accordingly. Find a place where it can be a pet. This isn't a version of this gene that I would say would be great for breeding. I wouldn't put it in a breeding project. It's just not up to the standards I would have for that. Um, well, good luck getting other breeders to tell you that on something they produced. And not going to happen. That's part of how we're like overly transparent. But if I told you that one wasn't one, I would put in the breeding program. This one absolutely is. This is something that I would not hesitate to put in a breeding program whatsoever. And this is a pastel leopard spot nose. So you can kind of see that right there. It's also at 72 grams. That's empty. This one is decided this week it did not want to feed. I probably try to give it a meal that's a little bit too big. So, you know, trying to get it going. Uh, it's been on mice. We tried to go to rats and it didn't much care for that. So we'll go back to mice next week. But these are really cool. You can really see that pattern, just the links together all through. A really, really nice animal on that front. Can I see your head? And you can see that head on these guys, what the spot nose and leopard are going to do together. And again, just link, 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 link. It's all linked together. Uh, really blows out the eyelets. Really nice. This would look really good with something like Blitz to make that a little more chaotic and even blow it out further where you'd almost get full onion rings going on there. Really cool animal. And this is a little female. So, like I said, the other one, not what I would consider that straight pastel to be of, of great quality for breeding. This, on the other hand, would not hesitate, right? Would not hesitate. And along those same lines, thought you were going to take a swat at me there, little guy. Thanks for not. Is this one here? This is another single gene. We didn't hit a lot of normals, but we didn't hit a lot of single genes and this is a nice example of a leopard so this is what i'd look for for a leopard i would be happy to put this into a breeding program so again you get that one that eh, but the rest of them are really really good uh, and what i'm talking about here is the darks are nice and dark which is what i want with leopard i want that black to be 
dark, right? I'm not wanting it to be light. I'm going to use this to, to change contrast and bring in some of that darkness. I'm also going to use it in a pattern. And you can really see the single eyelets all through. We get a little bit of a pattern of wonkiness there and there. But for the most part, what you get with leopard, you're getting nice, big, single eyelets. That's what I like. That's what I want. Uh, so really kind of a cool little snake. Can I see your tail? And then also on leopards, the tail turns yellow typically. Well, you can really see on official camera, different tint from there to there. That is pretty indicative of a leopard a lot of times. So really nice leopard. You can actually unwind and crawl. If you would, I'll let you do it so people can see you. There you go. You kind of get a nice overall view of how that looks. Just I mean, this is when you think of leopard, what you ought to be thinking of. So again, this is a nice, good quality animal. Would be good for a breeding program. All right, buddy, let's put you back. And not to be outdone is another single gene leopard uh, a little bit of a fireball <laughs> as you can tell and they're all coming right about that 70 gram mark doing good and again this is another one that's really nice i would stick it in a breeding program without hesitation really nice really good blacks a lot of the single eyelets you're seeing bam 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 looks really good uh there you can see that yellow on the tail maybe <laughs> if it'll cooperate with me ah there it is you can really kind of maybe see that there we are kind of see the belly of it this is a really good looking leopard so again either one of those you'd be good to go with uh i would say this one's probably my favorite of the two just because it has more of the big eyelets i look for but this is coming down into personal preference they're both really nice examples of what you're, of what a leopard is but if I had to pick a favorite, if I was picking a holdback for me, guys, this would be the one I would have picked. However, I did pick a holdback for me, but it wasn't this one. I'll show you why. We have another pastel leopard spot nose and it was a tough choice between the two i'll explain why i picked this one over on patreon and there is a couple reasons why i did although we're again getting very nitpicky down to preference this is another pastel leopard spot nose both of the ones that hatched out were females this is really what we were after in this clutch this is what i wanted to hit uh, I, I just wanted to kind of see how that worked together how it play and it played very nice and again we're right at that 67 gram marks this is empty so now we tried to move to a rat a larger rat pink and it wasn't having it yet so we'll go back to mice for you for a little while longer yes we will but anyway that is that and that is the last snake i've got from this clutch kurt any questions no what do you think about the way the pattern plays together with the pastel leopard spot nose i really like it it's probably one of my new favorite two gene combos okay so kurt said <laughs> three genes well, just the just the uh, leopard and the spot nose oh the way the leopard spot nose plays you could live without the pastel then yeah. gotcha uh, I, I dig it as well you know I don't know if it's my favorite thing of the year but I will say this you know in doing this I like these snakes more than I anticipated and that's a big deal when I can do a project and say hey this came out better than I thought it would I like this more in person than I anticipated I would and when I first started breeding these I honestly thought okay, this is a clutch I'm just going to kind of do. It'll make some neat looking stuff. Uh, and I'll probably sell it all. You know, I didn't anticipate having any holdbacks. Obviously that changed and I decided to keep this one. So really cool stuff. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We're going to go over to Patreon and tell you exactly why I chose this one and not the other one.